As our next guest says its assets are already positioned to meet demand. EQT, one of the largest suppliers of nat gas in the U.S., and its CEO, Toby Rice, joins us this morning. Toby, great to have you back. Good morning. Good morning, Carl. A lot written just this week about how finding fresh energy is the number one obsession of big tech. Uh, these five-year demand projections doubling in a year. Uh, is there a grid crisis in this country? Well, this is something that has caused people concerns uh, looking at the energy security of our grid. This happened even before the new demand catalyst from AI. And, you know, when you look at some of the issues that we face with Texas, one of the root causes is that the grid security that we do have is completely dependent on intermittent sources like renewables. So this is what happens when you rip out reliable electricity sources like coal and nuclear and you prevent even more reliable energy sources like natural gas uh, from playing a bigger part of the mix. Um, this is the state of the grid right now, and it's something that needs to correct if we want to fuel the biggest technological boom that's coming with AI. Do you think the U.S. has been delinquent in energy production because no country has ever produced as much as the U.S. is producing right now? Carl, this is a talking point that you hear in D.C. because we will be sent telling you that infrastructure has been blocked, challenged, and opposed. And in a, in a data point here is looking at the amount of pipelines that we built in this country. We built fewer pipelines last year on an annual basis that we had done in the prior 30 years. Well, people will say it can't be that bad because we are producing record amounts of oil and gas production. The industry is doing pretty good. Well, the question you need to ask yourself is look at the world around you. And rampant inflation, war in Ukraine, emissions are skyrocketing, energy security crippled, energy poverty now increasing. The question we should be asking is, is the industry doing enough? And clearly, we need to be doing a whole heck of a lot more. The good news is we have the resources here in America. This is what's made America the energy powerhouse in the world. And we are throttled back. If we unleash American energy, we can create a whole lot more good, lowering global emissions, providing energy security to our allies and ourselves, and also powering this new te technological boom that's coming. Are you alluding to criticism that you have about the president's recent pause on natural gas exports? The uh, president's new uh, LNG pause is just another example of the punitive actions that, is th that th this industry is faced with. Punitive executive orders, punitive regulations, punitive interpretations by agencies. Um, and you can look at the reaction that people are having. Look at this LNG pause. Uh, there's a reason why the administration wants to put this in the rearview mirror as fast as possible is because these decisions are unpopular. You look at the leaders and you look at the bipartisan pushback that's taken place criticizing this LNG pause. But look at what the people are saying, because people say this is driven by politics. In Pennsylvania, there was a poll that took place a couple weeks ago, and they asked Pennsylvanians, would you fire Biden based on his decision to do this LNG pause or would you reelect re him? And by a factor of two to one, Pennsylvania voters said that they would fire Biden based on his decision to pause LNG. Because when you pause LNG, you pause our environmental progress, you pause our ability to provide energy security to Americans, and you pause our ability to keep energy prices low for Americans. So, so I'm really interested, uh, Toby, on how plentiful you think the supply is uh, over the next decade or two, if all the necessary infrastructure is built. I mean. Infrastructure domestically in pipelines is, is one thing, as Sarah's alluding to as well. Export terminals for Europe, who would have voracious demand, I think, given recent events, uh, if the supply could reach them. Is there enough supply here to feed all of those things that's being untapped at the moment? Yes, we've done the work. Thanks to the shale revolution, which has transformed America from being energy dependent less than 20 years ago to being an energy powerhouse in the world which is an amazing feat, shows you the power of what this industry has been able to innovate and uncover. Uh, we've done the work. We have the ability and the resource in this country to quadruple our LNG exports, which would translate to an incremental uh, almost 60 BCF a day of surplus energy that we can create here to be used for LNG or AI. Um, it's a tremendous resource. And to put this into perspective, how big a deal this is, 60 BCF a day does not mean a lot to the normal person. 60 BCF a day is the energy equivalent of adding 10 million barrels a day of clean energy to the world stage. That's like adding a Saudi Arabia worth of energy that's going to be a decarbonizing force and continue to drive American influence around the world.